fire around this portal. Yeah, there's a lot of fire. Well, a lot of lava is flowing too. Another gold. Whoop! My pickaxe well, pick is too good. If you want, I can mine the stuff, and because I've got fortune. Oh right. Oh uh, yeah, I just have efficiency, so. Uh, there's a lot of zombie piglins. Yep. First, I'm going to I'm going to solely use my silk. That way, I can carry more. First hog one down. Alright. Em, hmm? guard me a bit because I really, really want to gather some of these so, th so that I can draw them. Or grow them, use them, build with them. Their sounds are so scary! <laughs> Why are they all zombie piglins and not regular piglins, though? Technically, we spawn inside of a waste biome. Hmm. Right on the border of an edge of a crimson forest. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I that see. Oh, I see why you... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> no, I said I see. I, I was saying I see why you went. When, uh, you made that noise. The only problem with the nether trees is that they don't. Uh, the leaves don't decay. Yeah, because um, they're the nether wart nether blocks. Wart. Yeah. I do have a hoe, though. Yeah, I didn't grab one. Oh, I've got a shroom light over here. Yeah, there's a couple am, over here. I am liking the sounds, though. Oh, yeah. There we go. Oop. Here's another block. This is also the first time I have been in the 1.16 nether, so... Mm-hmm. Pretty sure it's the same for all of us. Well, I've done a little bit of exploring now and then. Well, okay. Oh, look! We've got some striders down there! Oh, neat. Should I go ride one? Do you have a saddle? Uh, no. You need a hashtag totally legit saddle? Eh, I'll pass. Ooh, the music. Yeah, for beta. Oh yeah, I don't have the music on in Minecraft. I kinda wanna poke them. You would die! I think we would all die because they would aggro to us afterwards. Unfortunately, you cannot convert nether wart blocks down to nether wart. Which is stupid. Well, originally it didn't make sense. But now with the trees, it kind of does. Yeah. Because the trees are everywhere. Uh. Oh God. Uh. 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 You idiot! I did nothing. He attacked me. Okay. <laughs> what did you do? Nothing. I didn't open a chest. I didn't punch him. I didn't even have my boots off. Hmm. A regular mushroom is a regular mushroom. 
jerk. I was like, what's hitting me? What's it? Oh. I know that you can get, like, saplings or something for the mushrooms to grow here. I just don't remember how to. Yeah, crimson fungus. I've got a couple. Okay. The question will be how to get more, though. Yeah. I don't actually know. Um, I'm going to go ahead and grab some of the Nylium, because if we want to grow those, we'll need the Nylium. Yeah. Do you have Silk Touch? Uh, does it need Silk Touch to get the Nylium? Or are you just digging it up right now? Uh, oh, and be careful! Yeah, no, I can, I can mine the Nylium already. No, like, be careful, because this is one block thick right here. Yeah, I noticed that when I mined a couple of netherwork blocks, and suddenly beneath me was just lava and death. Suddenly, lava. So I was like, oh, hey, that's death down there. All right. Yeah, I got uh, what I immediately need, so I'm going to just go ahead and head back to... Back to the overworld. Okay. Of course you are. Hey, I want to get this bamboo farm up so that I can be auto smelting stone so that I can expand the cactus farm. 56. Okay. Nine. <laughs> Only other thing I really need is the Nine. nether core. I've got almost this. Uh, I got 63 quart ore. So that translates to a bit with silk or with a uh, fortune. Right. I have no way of getting those because there is just straight up lava straight down from there. <laughs> Yeah, I got some nether quartz, so... Here's some more, but I can't get to it ah, unless I build I see. out. So apparently, it's not that they don't like you opening chests only. Don't mind gold if they're near. Yeah, that's also a thing. You suck. And it doesn't matter whether it's their chest or your chest. Mm -hmm. Like if you place a chest, they will still attack you. If you then open it, so... I just won't mind any of the gold because it gives us nuggets. Yeah. Well, I mean, we are going to need a lot of gold if we ever want to get netherite, so. It's called building a farm. But, I mean, it does give nuggets, but it gives more nuggets than you would get out of an ingot, so... I think if you have an iron or diamond tool, it gives you more nuggets than you get via just one ingot. Mm. I think, anyway. I remember something about that the nether gold gives different amounts depending on what you actually use to mine it. don't know if that's changed, but I remember that was some what they said about it 
in one of the earlier snapshots when they first introduced the nether gold. Let's see, I've got 36 gold nuggets right now. And then one, I get. So I guess it's only giving me about five. Are you uh, using fortune? No, I'm just using a regular diamond pickaxe. If I was fortunate, it probably would. But I did get. I've got almost 50 gold nugs just from that. So. Oh, hello. Block deep. You okay, buddy? Oh, frick. Huh? You okay, Christian? Of Good course. Time. And that's why he said, oh, frick. Hey. Thank you mm -hmm. very much. Of course. <laughs> All right. You know, it's depending on whether or not to turn off, uh, keep inventory. <laughs> as we, if, when we enter the nether. Oh. In the end, I didn't, but. <laughs> Probably a good thing. Oh, and you disconnected. Uh, excuse me while uh, appear to be a little decent. Yep. So if you need Nylium. Nice. Here's a... Uh, there you go. There's a whole area of nothing but Nylium. Right there next to the house. Okay. 64 Nylium. Took one full stack. Michael. Hmm? At some point we have to go to Happy Back. Alright. I can see mist. I should be back. Yeah, it does say you joined just now, so. Let's be the right way around, shall we? Yep. Though, actually, I think it needs to be one block higher up so that I can get the redstone signal down. Yeah, because it just grew here and it didn't set anything off. Okay, creepy sounds. Okay. So, to get it to go down... Um, I think if you lower it down by one, you can just put one block next to the piston. And it'll just go through the, the block there to the piston. Just put one piece of redstone on it. Oh, you mean like doop, doop. And I don't have redstone dust on me. Well, no, I meant the observer block, one down. Whoops, and I just broke the bamboo. Here. Bone block is breaking is an interesting sound. The, what I'm thinking should work, though. Right. I think it's just, whoops. Apparently not the right. There you go. I think, yeah, I think at this point, with how I just set, did that, I think you just have to put one redstone down. I 
Like if you just put the redstone on that block, I think it'll work. I think that's. I'm what not I sure. I can test it. Yeah, test it. I like how you both are in the overworld and I'm yep. here in the. Okay, bed. so that did work. Yep. So I'm just gonna. And I'll just and let then, it go whenever it hits three. Yep. So. Because I have. What I have down there is. A hopper mine part smushed into a block to pick it up. Cool. And then the hopper mine cart feeds into another hopper, which feeds into the chest. Cool. So, yeah. That does seem to work pretty well, so... That will get us automatic bamboo. <laughs> I just noticed you were planting it literally everywhere. Yeah, I was... Well, the original plan was that I was going to put the bamboo all the way around because I assumed it was an island based off of how things looked. But no. I discovered it's not. The, the one section that Andrew and I are on is more like an island. Yeah. Darn it, I'm one crimson root short. What? There. No, I'm not. There. You good, cat? Cat is going nuts over here. The answer to that question is no. Oop. Mist disappeared. Yeesh! Yes, calm your... Calm yourself. Also, apparently I was ghosting. Uh, it does appear you were, if you couldn't hear. Letting Miss know that she disconnected she, from the call. She knows. Oh, she knows? Okay. Yeah, she did it on purpose. Okay. Yeah, I definitely didn't hear that. My god, Gast! I wish we knew why we were ghosting. Yesterday we had no issues at all. Get him, zombie! Get him! Yeah! Infighting! Do it! Yeah. And I will just come in and finish off the, uh, the battle. Hmm, this does not seem to be a way up from here. Just precariously bridging across lava. It's always fun. I've already been knocked into it once to survive. Don't ask how, because I have no idea. <laughs> it happens. And Gas was like, hello. Hmm. We heard you like fireballs, so we're giving you a two for one special. <laughs> Yeah, 
God dang it, yes. Yeah, that looks good. Might need to change that to jungle plank so it's not floating, but. Same with my alchemy room here. <coughs> hmm. Go, 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 uh, that's twice now I survived a pit full of burn. Right. This bamboo's almost as tall as my house. Jeez. I like that the area around my house that was decorated with bamboo. Here, I'll put this stuff, another stuff into here for mist. She can get that at some point. So where did mist go anyway? Um, basically going to AFK over and get more thing and ah. stuff. Got it. Whoops. I think these aren't modded torches. The ones that when you place them down, you have to light them. Mm -hmm. They only last for so long. Turn to sender. Nice. Get wrecked, scrub. Really? She's AFK over here. I see her. I can't zoom. I don't have Optifine. Oh my god. Where are all you sh- 
showing up from Also fun fact, if you publish a mod a mod pack mm -hmm. to Curse Forge and you accidentally include Optifine in it, they reject it. Of course they do. They're supposed to. Yeah. I guess they have some Thing where Optifine isn't actually allowed on their site. Mm -hmm. I discovered this because I always build mods with mod packs using Optifine and then I forgot to remove it before I uploaded it. And they were like, uh, we don't allow mod packs if they have Optifine. I'm like, oh. See this? I forgot this. Yeah, because the developers are like, "Yeah, you can't use it unless we give you explicit permission to do so." Hmm. And it's damn odd. So. Right. It's their mod. I don't know. I don't really get why that would be how they have it set up, but I guess that is. It's just like Galacticraft isn't on CurseForge, but yet you can download add-ons for it. Mm. It's like you have to actually go and install Galacticraft separately. They could have it that way, so that way you have to go to their site and they can make money off it. Probably. But the Curse Boards lets you host Galacticraft add-ons. You can even download them to the Twitch launcher. But you can't get Galacticraft itself. You have to actually go download it. Which is fine. I mean, I haven't played Galacticraft since freaking 1.5 anyway, so... I think I... I think I played a mod pack in 1.12, or maybe it was 1.10, that had Galacticraft in it, but we never got to it, because we stopped playing the mod pack very early into the mod pack, because we discovered that it was a uh, very, very difficult mod pack. What was it called? Uh, Craft of the Titans, I think. Mm. And it was like the first night was a blood moon and the blood moon mod adds like a ton of mob spawning and they can spawn within like three blocks of you. Almost destroyed the server I was running because there were so many mobs because it quadruples the mob cap during a blood moon. Mm. So you literally get like 500 mobs all spawning and ra like rapidly, like faster than a mob spawner. And then they can spawn within like three, two or three blocks of you and it's just like, oh yeah, all of a sudden, any spot that is dark is immediately going to spawn a mob. Anywhere between you and 120 blocks away, or whatever the mob spawning distance is. In fact, I think that even gets, like, increased, the distance for mob spawns. I know that the, uh, the minimum distance gets increased, at least. That's why they can spawn, like, right next to you. I like the Blood Moon mob, but mod, but every time I've included it in a mod pack, I've very heavily turned down the settings. <coughs> I can understand why. Yeah. Cuz it 
it does. It spawns mobs very aggressively. Like, that's the whole point of the mod. And when running on single player, if you've got a good computer, that's fine. When you're running on a server, that causes the whole server to just lag the crap out. And then, like, the whole freaking server basically crashes and... It's like, yeah, how about I just lower the mob cap on that? Fine, mobs can spawn at double the rate. But I'm gonna set the, like, distance that they can spawn to its normal distance. Because screw them, screw a creeper just spawning literally in your square. You know? Mm-hmm. So, I was like, yeah, no. Well, listen here, skeleton. Where have you shot that from? Now we gotta find another fortress. Ooh, I just thought to check my golden boots, and I have a single durability. That's, if I get hit even once, these guys attack. That's, so uh... It. Unfortunately, that's the problem with golden... Armor. <laughs> that durability is the worst. Speaking of which, your uh, stuff break? Yep. Always fun. If by fun, you mean an absolute freaking pain. <laughs> I see. Well, no, there's zombies, so they should be good, but... If we can find a bastion, that would be cool. Oh, that, you're a... Hmm? I'm already, I'm being attacked by one of those things. Ah. Uh, that's understandable. They are immediately hostile if you do not have golden, any gold armor on you. Since I don't have gold, I'm just... You know what, I'm just going to kill you, because you're already hostile, and you're one-shot. So I wouldn't have provoked aggro anyway. Because I don't think things aggro if you one-shot their things. That, I have no idea. Pigmen are not like that. If you one-shot them, they don't actually aggro. Makes sense. Uh, fire. There's just something so satisfying about uh, breaking a lot of bamboo. Especially now that I've realized that I can just use the sword to do it. So you mm -hmm. can just break a lot all at once. Oh boy, this is high up. You can just line up like this and then you go boop. Yeah, we're definitely never going to have a, you know, bamboo shortage. Not only is there Mist's automated system, but you just have to walk around the continent, swing your sword, and you'll get like a full inventory in seconds. Half an inventory, just that fast. Um, hmm. I am out of inventory space. Well, almost. Almost. I'm out of inventory space, but that's because of all the bamboo I just got. <laughs> <laughs> 
Sí, sí. Also, I discovered that um, the 64 stack limit is hard coded. Mm -hmm. I discovered this when I thought, hey, I can use Craft Tweaker to increase stack sizes. So I checked to see what would happen if I just increased it to like a hundred. It don't do it. It don't work. Or I should say it does work. You can collect up to a hundred, but when you grab it to try and, you know, pick it up, it breaks. I think um, if you shift click, it allows it. Well, I know you can edit your inventory and give you more than a hundred and it will stay as long as you don't go and pick it up. Yeah, well that's what I mean. As long as you're... Because it'll... you can put it into your inventory at over a hundred. But then the moment that you try to like pick up the stack from your inventory, it splits it to just 64. So... I was like, well, it would be cool if my mod pack could let you, like, hold large amounts in a single stack. And nope, can't do that. Denied. I was like, well, so much for that idea. Because, I mean, we've all been there. You're walking around. You've got, like, 12 stacks of dirt or cobblestone. It's just like, come on, man. <laughs> You don't just want to, like, toss it all out because you might end up needing it at some point. Mm-hmm. Then you just end up with, like, entire chests of nothing nothing but dirt and cobblestone. So I was like, well, maybe I can just increase the stack limit, you know? That would be nice. No, nope, can't do that. I think the only way to increase it is, use, like, if you're using a mod and, uh... Oh that. Yeah. You would need a special mod that increases the limit in your like in what you can hold in your like mouse. Either that or have an item that specifically has a different uh value. I'm pretty sure you can make it to where, like, this item's max stack size is this instead. Well, I mean, that's what I, that's what I was doing. Because I was uh, using Craft Tweaker to tell it, hey, make it, make this stack size and increase it to, like, 100. But when you click it with your mouse to pick it up from your inventory, it only takes 64. So, oh, and my inventory's full again of bamboo. Definitely have no shortage when it comes to bamboo. I may have two full barrels of nothing but bamboo. Hmm. So yeah, I uh, I just picked up a lot of bamboo from that. Whoops, I just broke the base block. Well. Hmm? Let me just do this one last line. I'm just enjoying breaking bamboo because it's just fun. Hello, creeper. This is nice. For just blowing up some of my bamboo. Hmm? This is nice. What's that? Try to swim in lava.
Yeah, if I had stopped it on fire. Okay, there we go. Yeah, for some odd reason it does that. It like makes you be on fire for a while. So I have five stacks of basalt. Oh, nice. Did you find a basalt delta? Mm -hmm. Neat. I mean, obviously you did, because otherwise you wouldn't have gotten basalt, because... Did you find a thing that you could find to get that item? Why, yes. Yes, I did. <laughs> How astute of you. <laughs> right. Anyway, I need... Get a chest. Which means I need wood. I'm hitting the stuff I haven't broken yet. And my inventory is full again. I should make a sword just for cutting bamboo. Probably. Especially since I have decided that I want to get rid of all this bamboo and move it to a different spot. I think I'm going to make an iron sword specifically for cutting down oh, all I'm of this bamboo. Oh no. Maybe? Come on. Resync. <laughs> and you haven't disconnected yet on my side. So. I literally already had the iron in my inventory. Oh, hey, I have 30 levels. Not that I have anything to enchant yet. Yep, there you go. There's a disconnect. Oh my. So I just wide 50 bone blocks. Is what? 50 bone blocks. Nice. God dang it, skeletons. Zombie raid. We have four in my of the thing. Let's see how much fortune gives. You give me four. That would give me six. Why does it auto jump when I go near the water? I have auto jump off. It keeps like trying to jump out of the water with like auto jump. It's very odd. Oh, how I yearn for storage drawers. <laughs> oh, I wish we had a refined storage system. That too. Refined storage would be just as good as storage drawers. Actually, it'd be better, because 
you would have it all in one centralized location. Also true. So, 32 nuggets from all the gold ore I just mined. Neat. Trying to clear out as much of my inventory as I can. So I have more space for more bamboo. Planted so much bamboo. My iron sword is almost broken just from breaking the bamboo. Well then. I literally have used it for nothing but the bamboo since I got it. I planted a lot of bamboo. Creeper! Ah, man. There are two creepers in the mob grinder. Or not the mob grinder, but the mob farm thing. So I have one, two, three, four, five, and a uh, half stacks plus two. Cool. Uh, another quartz. Very nice. Meaning that that is no longer an issue. I believe I had something I needed, wanted to do with uh, that. Oh, right, I think it's an auto, auto sugar. Yeah, the sugar cane. It's gonna make an yeah. auto bamboo and an auto sugar, but Mist already got the auto bamboo. So. I do have a delivery heading your way. Okay. Soul sand and magma blocks. For your bubble vader needs. Neato. So put them here and hopefully not forget them. <laughs> While I finish up trying to knock down this bamboo that I planted. I've only filled three full barrels of it. I think the chicken was burning before they it goes to the hopper. Because that chicken farm is not really working. Yeah. Unfortunately, your auto chicken roaster does not seem to be. Auto doing chicken the best. roasting. Hmm? Auto chicken roasting. Auto chicken roasting, yeah. That doesn't seem like it's working the best, unfortunately. Okay. 
At some point, I'm going to have to flatten a 121 by 121 square area. And why is that? Because I have a massive build that I want to do. That'd do it. But when I say massive, I mean, you know, 121 by 121. So, yeah. Massive. Well, I needed to collect a bunch of, uh, kelp. I'm just gonna cut down the bamboo and just not worry about collecting all of it at this point. And then I break my sword. Rip. Good thing I made just. Good thing it was just another iron sword that I had made. Uh huh. And uh, slightly worse, it is a diamond sword, fully enchanted with mending and all that. <laughs> I mean, if I had mending, I would have waited. I think I would have repaired it before I used up all of its durability. Alas, my Smite 2 Diamond Sword is getting low on durability. But that's okay. That was only Smite 2. Well, you can uh, disenchant it and put a new enchantment on it. Yeah. I'm going to make three iron swords this time. have a new plan for the bamboo. In order to execute it, I need to get rid of all the bamboo I did place. If that's even possible. <laughs> hey, actually this stuff way over here, because the chunks haven't been loaded, hasn't grown very much. Because it's so far away. That one then didn't even grow at all. Yeah, I'm getting to the point where I'm not uh, seeing much in the way of bamboo growth over here. A lot of this area has actually been loaded. In fact, I'm actually legitimately still seeing like single block bamboo.
Man, this tanks your sword durability though. Jeez. Jeez. Did I really plant this much bamboo? Apparently you did. And I was just going on without even paying attention. Glad I made three swords. I've already used up two full iron swords. And that's it. That's the last of the bamboo. Yay. I don't run around, see how much of it is there is still left to collect. Actually not seeing a lot, so oh creep. Yeah, a lot of this bamboo had barely even grown. Frick you. Frick you. Frick you. That's not that hard. You just have to actually, like, think. Spooky, scary skeletons, and they're full on bad boom. I don't even care about the rest of it at this point. There are so many mobs. Torches. Torches everywhere. Gotta lay down the light. Goodness. So much bamboo. Going into the house. All right. 
Um, Alright, so, uh, that was um, us going into the nether on the Dungeon Force. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry that I didn't, like, put, a, you know, an intro or anything. Um, I was just going along there for the whole episode. Um, but that's because it was kind of a sudden... Uh, like start to the episode there um and I just really didn't have anything to say that didn't involve talking to you know everybody um but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed if you did feel free to subscribe and uh I'll see you guys next time